So last week I had a very interesting question from a subscriber named Jake and he was wondering since the lockdown happened, what have you been spending your money on? Like what are some big purchases you've made or just purchases in general since you can't go out and do the normal things like eating at restaurants or going to the bar or going out and partying? What have you been spending your money on? So I thought I could turn that into a fun video today and show you seven things that I have spent or bought during this lockdown and also seven things that I can't live without uh, that help me run my business on a daily basis. So I'm gonna show you that those seven things, it's, it's actually 14 things in total, uh, but it's gonna be an informal video, more of a fun video. I'm gonna show you around my desk here and show you different things that I use and that I have bought. So, number one is this mouse here. It's called the MX Master 3. So, uh, let's see. I like it because it, it fits my hand nicely and it feels pretty, I've never had a like a expensive mouse before. I have like a cheap Logitech down there. This is a Logitech as well, but it, I think it was $110. So I got this on Amazon. And the reason I like it so much, I, I love this mouse, uh, is this first, this, this vertical wheel, this is like the one that all mouses have, but then also this in here this uh, horizontal wheel. So I have a like a 24, a 27 inch monitor here and I have a MacBook Pro hooked up to it and I'm, I'm constantly moving back and forth on different pages, horizontally and vertically. So usually I have to go down to the bottom of the page and click and drag it to the right, drag it to the left. But with this wheel here, game changer, right? I can just use this to quickly go back and forth. There's also these forward and back buttons that help you go quickly between, you know, forward, uh, forward to webs, you go to a website, you go forward, and you go back, right? So it's the normal back and forth feature, but this mouse, I think it was $110 on Amazon. They call it a productivity mouse, and I would definitely agree with that. It's made me more productive, made me a lot faster in certain tasks that I'm doing all the time in my business or on my computer here. So that's number one, Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. Number two is, uh, let's see, this keyboard. So let's see if you can hear this. So that's, that sound is so satisfying to me. I don't know why, but it's a mechanical keyboard and I was looking for a wireless Bluetooth uh, mechanical keyboard for my Mac. And I wanted a, uh, an actual mechanical keyboard, which is the one, that's why you hear that, that sound there when you, type, when you type the keys. It's really loud and clacky, right? So I like that, it's satisfying to me. I think this was, um, so this is, this is called the Keychron K6, by the way. You can go to keychron.com. They started on Kickstarter. I think their first model was called the Keychron K2. And this one was just released. It was just, they just started to ship it out from their Kickstarter campaign. So uh, I just got this. This is their newest model, the K6. It's more compact than the K2. And it's a mechanical keyboard that goes really well with a MacBook or any type of Mac, uh, Apple computer. So that's number two, the Keychron K6 wireless mechanical keyboard. Absolutely love this thing. I got it two weeks ago. Number three is my uh, Kindle Oasis. So this is, I was kind of hesitant about this, right? So this is a Kindle Oasis. It's their, their highest level Kindle, their most expensive one. And um, I love physical books. I love the way they smell. I love the way they feel. I retain information a lot better from physical books. But the reason I got this, this Kindle Oasis is, it has a feature, uh, and I saw another YouTuber named Iman, uh, Iman Godzi, he was talking about a Kindle Oasis and how he can take notes and highlight certain things. And I thought this would be really good to have for myself as well as for my students and my clients. Whenever I read a new book, and I usually read about a book a week, I can highlight and take notes on these books and give it to my clients and give it to my students so that they can benefit from my readings. More like a Cliff Notes thing. So I can buy books on my Kindle Oasis and I can highlight certain passages or phrases, things that I wanna remember in that book, lessons or whatever it is, quotes from the book, and have them all in one place where I can read all those highlights and notes that I made from, from all of the books that I read, all in one easy place. Now, if you have a physical book, what I would have to do is I would you know, highlight the book, I'd take notes on paper, I would put it in my phone. It's a lot more difficult to track all those things. So I actually really enjoy this because it helps me to highlight and to have all my notes and highlights in one place, which is so convenient, as well as having your books all in one place. So that's number three, the Kindle Oasis was number four. Uh, the fountain pen. So I actually just bought this last week and I am loving this thing so far. Let's see if we can see the tip here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Well, you can see it's a bit of a sharper tip. How does it focus? 
Anyway, it's, it's a bit of a sharper tip. This is like an old school type of pen. I think this one's called the Pilot Metropolitan. It was $30 or so on Amazon. And uh, I, I write a lot every day. I do a lot of copywriting. I, uh, let me see if I can grab this here. Uh, I am always handwriting things and writing out old, sa old sales letters from uh, legendary copywriters like Gary Halbert and Gary Bensavenga and like uh, John, John Carlton and John Cables. All those legendary copywriters, I'll write out their like old order forms and their sales letters. And it helps, to, there's a psychological trigger that happens when you write things out physically where it registers and retains in your brain a lot better than just typing something out. So I wanted a nice pen to use with that and this is my first fountain pen. I am really liking it so far, okay? So that's number, what number was that? Um, one, two, three, that was number four. Number five, print newsletters. So this is, uh, you're gonna see these things here. These are different print, month, print newsletters. We got one here for different types of topics. These are for marketing. Uh, this is called Email Players by a guy named Ben Settle. It's all around email copywriting, email marketing. This is called Make It Rain Monthly from a guy named Chris Orzakowski. Uh, a, around, a lot around um, automated email campaigns. And this is from a guy named Doberman Dan. Uh, more around direct marketing, direct response, copywriting, and just general business strategy. So each of these are $97 a month. So this is $300 a month right here. And all they do is they ship me one of these newsletters. It's like 16 to 20 pages or so. And I learn new things every month from that, right? And uh, there's one more I have as well from a guy named Matt Fury. He is like the king of email copywriting and email marketing, one of the pioneers. And so all in, to in total, it's about $400 in monthly uh, payments that I make for these print newsletters. And all they do is they send me the 16 to 20 page book or this, this newsletter where I learn something new about, cer about a certain topic. And these are all about marketing. So these I all signed up to within the last month or month and a half or so during the lockdown. And um, I am really enjoying these. Like it might not seem like a lot, it might seem super expensive to you if you're just starting your business to pay $100 for a piece of paper, 16 pages of paper, but I am more of an experienced business owner now, so I get a lot of value out of these print newsletters here, right? All I need is one little trick or insight or tip or strategy to take me to the next level. So I already got one thing in, let's see, Make It Rain Monthly here. This is from Chris Orzakowski again. I got one tip in here where I implemented it the next day and I instantly uh, made $1,000 the next day just from implementing one little automated email campaign that I didn't already have in place. And now that's just running automatically every single day, week, and month. So all you need is really, I, I wouldn't recommend you pick any of these up if you're brand new starting a business for the first time, but if you are in business, maybe you're at the five or six figure mark or even the seven figure mark, picking up these print newsletters, they're short, they're concise, and they're gonna give you uh, fast, hard packed lessons where you can implement immediately. So these are, that's number one, two, three, four, five. That's number five. What else? There's books, there's physical books and there's Kindle Oasis books. So I actually bought these three during the lockdown, physical books. Uh, this one right here, 16 word sales letter. This guy is uh, Evaldo Albuquerque. He was, he's a copywriter at Agora, which is one of the largest pub publishing companies in the world. I think they do close to a billion or $2 billion a year in revenue. So they're a massive publishing company. And this is all about writing sales letters. So this guy, this specific copywriter generated about nine figures in revenue in the last three years using the strategies in this book here. So I think this was $37 on Amazon. Uh, I am reading through it now. I haven't read it yet, so I can't comment on it. This one here is called Almost Alchemy by Dan Kennedy. So the legend, I haven't read this either, but it's about making any business of any size produce more with fewer and less. So I picked this up because uh, someone else recommended it to me. They said it's all of Dan Kennedy's business lessons condensed into a book, which is why I picked this up. Uh, and the third one is this, Email Players Schema Book. So this actually came with, um, where is it? It came with this print newsletter. So email, email Players, this book came with it for the first month that I signed up. And it's all around email copywriting and email marketing. So those are the three physical books that I picked up in the last month, but I have six or seven books that I picked up on this thing, on the Kindle Oasis. So let's see, in the last month, 10 books or so in the last month and a half or so. Uh, so yeah, that's number six is books. And then the last thing, number seven of things that I purchased during lockdown is this mat here. Let me see if I can show it to you. 
So, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see this, but it is a, it looks like a plain black mat. And it's a, it's called the Topo, T-O-P-O, anti-fatigue mat. So, I have a sit-stand desk, and I'll show that to you in a second as well. But, I have a hard time standing for a long period of time uh, before I had this mat. So, this, the mat I just showed you helps me to stand for three to four hours per day now without my feet getting too, you know, painful and sore. So, now I can stand a lot longer. I have more energy throughout the day. Whenever I have sales calls, I am standing as well because it helps me to project my voice and have more energy during the call. So, that mat, I think it was $110 or so, and um, it's, it's paying off so far. I, I usually stand half the day now. So that's called the T-O-P-O, Topo Anti-Fatigue Mat. It's if you, if you have a, a sit-stand desk where you can go from standing to sitting to standing, and I'll show you that in a second here. But those are the seven items that I bought during lockdown. So number one is this, this mouse here, Logitech MX Master 3. I'll link to all these below, by the way. Number two was this keyboard, the Keychron K6. That's probably my favorite thing that I bought. Number three was the Kindle Oasis here. Number four was this fountain pen. Number five were these print newsletters. I have four of them total. Each of them are $97 a month. Uh, number six are these books here to help me with my knowledge. And number seven was the anti-fatigue mat I just showed you, okay? Now, business things that I can't live without, things I use on a daily basis to help me run my business and make it easy for me. So first, I don't know where it is. Here we go. The first thing is my uh, iPhone. So I use it mainly for keeping track of my schedule. So today's Monday, we got a bunch of calls here lined up. So the, of course your iPhone, it helps me to take calls and then I, I also use it to keep track of my day, so my calendar. That's the main thing that I use it for. Number two is my sit stand desk. So it's gonna be kind of messy, but uh, this is my desk and you can see right here, if you press one of these buttons, and this is called the Autonomous AI. If you guys want to pick it up, I'll link to it below. Uh, it allows you to, to make your desk rise so you can stand during the day. And it helps with energy levels. So, that's my desk. Number three is the this chair here. This is called the Ergo Chair 2. And it's from the same company, Autonomous AI. And it's super comfy. And I can lean all the way back if I set it to. Uh, so, when I'm reading... I usually have it set back like this, but if I'm working, I'm usually standing or I have it locked into place over here. So this is called the Ergo Chair 2. Uh, and this from the it's from Autonomous AI, which is the same company as this desk. Next, we have the LG 27 inch. So this is the screen that I work off of. Okay, super simple. And um, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a plain old monitor and I use it every day. I plug it into my MacBook Pro and it helps me to have a bigger screen to work on. Number five is this full focus planner. Now this is, I think from a guy named Michael Hyatt. And I plan all my days in this thing. So you can see you plan your day, hour by hour. I don't know if you can see that. Hour by hour, I have my affirmations here. My, every day I write down three things I'm grateful for. And then I write down my goals every day. My three big objectives for the day in here as well. And you can track your day, your week, your month in here. So highly recommend you get a, a written planner. The digital planners don't work for me. I can't keep track of those. But this written planner, I've been using those since I quit my job like four years ago. So written planners, I need that. I use it every single day to write down my goals, my objectives, and also my affirmations and things I'm grateful for every day. Uh, next is a physical notepad. So here we go. I already showed you this, but every day I'm writing notes and thoughts and maybe sometimes journaling and I also handwrite a lot of copywriting stuff. So sales letters and order forms and emails, I like to write those by hand and it, it imprints it into my brain, learning from all the legends that have already made it work. Okay, so that's a physical notepad. Number six is this thermal flask. So you can get a hydro flask, I don't know what you guys use, but get a big water bottle because uh, most people that I talk to, they don't drink enough water, right? I drink maybe, this is 32 ounces. I'll drink maybe six of these every day, okay? And I can, my, my girlfriend, my fiance, she, she doesn't even drink half of that. I'm trying to get on, to get on her about drinking more water. But if you're an entrepreneur especially and you're doing sales calls and you're talking to people, you need to drink a lot of water. So I have this, I usually drink, it, drink six full of these every day, 32 ounces. Grab something like this, you can get it for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, and lastly, 
You can't see it, but I am using something called a Canon G7X Mark II. That's the camera that I'm recording on right now for anyone that's wondering. And those are the seven things that I use in my business that I can't live without. Number one, my iPhone. Number two, the sit-stand desk from autonomous.ai. Number three is the ergo chair, which I'm sitting on right now, ergo chair two, also from autonomous AI. Number four is my uh, LG 27 inch monitor to help me with uh, just having a bigger screen to work on. Uh, my full focus planner to write down my objectives, my goals, my affirmations, things I'm grateful for, journaling. I have a physical notepad to write down and handwrite sales letters and copywriting practice. I have my thermo flask for water, stay hydrated, stay energized. And then lastly, my Canon G7X Mark II, which I record all my YouTube videos on that you guys learn from. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I gave you a little look into uh, what I'm using on a daily basis, the types of things that I like and that I buy. And hopefully you're, you'll get some ideas for, for your home office or things that you might wanna buy to make yourself more productive in your life and your business. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like if you did. Comment below if you have any questions or if you have recommendations on things I should buy as well, let me know. But uh, take care and I'll see you in the next video.